here we are manufacturing doors. It's a joinery factory. Mostly we customize our products. So we deal with doors, garage doors, sliding doors, folding doors. My biggest achievement was when I started, I uh, couldn't have any, any parking. So it was difficult for me to, because I had to spend a lot of money hiring the, the buckets. So in 2006, uh, my biggest achievement was to buy an Isuzu Bucky, 80,000 cash, which was uh, two years old at a second hand dealer. Then from there, I went on to increase my, my fleet up until I got the funding to get the machine up. So I can say, Already, yeah, you have developed because I've got a fleet of three buckets. Mm. Most of my, my, my clients, I market and they like my job because I customize. So I'm not doing run of the mill where the products are just mm. everywhere. So we try to, to be very different in, in manufacturing. We try to create more designs and mm. so that's what keeps us apart. Coming to the assistance that I got through CETA, yeah, I can say I benefited an, a lot in terms of uh, incubation, fine-tuning my, my joinery skills, plus uh, learning all the business skills. Then it has helped me a lot. Uh, also, additionally, I can say the funding which I got from CETA, TTF. So that funding is the one that uh, gave me a breakthrough in 2014 when I started to be independent. So yeah, CETA, I'm, I'm working close with the CETA. Uh, entrepreneurship is not for the light-hearted people. It needs people with a very stronger vision who are prepared to risk everything in order to get where they want. So really, if you want to be successful, you must be a person who is persevering, who's got passion on what we are doing, then you will succeed and again you must learn more to get more knowledge.